don't worry, everyone. Thanks to a trip to the pirate doctor, Bucko Drink has some small, delicious pills that will help solve his reloading issues. Now we will never have to worry about reloading again. <laughs> Inside me are two wolves. One wants Bucko Drink to reload, the other does not want Bucko Drink to reload. Remember kids, you can't please everybody. Don't worry about such trivial things, it's not as if your rent depends on it. But without further ado, welcome Rum Rims to Rum World, or as I like to call it Crazy Town, because no matter your intention, you're always going to be wrong in someone's eyes. Today in Chateau de Bucko, we are going to build a pirate ship. And you're probably thinking, well, there's quite clearly a pirate ship right there. Well, look at that. I bet that thing gracefully sails across all one of the seas. And you would be absolutely right. In fact, we're going to be using that very same pirate ship to gracefully sail across the seas to gracefully steal the winter supplies from the mouth of a starving, graceful tribal child. <laughs> Pirates aren't necessarily the good guys, of course. I I'd wager that Bucko has quite a hard life out here. Wave 60 just around the corner. I say that as he sleeps in his golden bed. It's constant warfare, constant death, and constant rebuilding. I think the man could do with a little luxury. And on the subject of little luxury, who here likes specialized war caskets? What's that, Haynes? You enjoy war caskets? Well, of course you do, because you're one of our Imperial recruits. And much like with the Hex, all Imperials have to be put in war caskets. It's just the way things happen here. This really tells a story, huh? A, a decision was made here. So without any more prattling, let's get on with it. Incidentally, as a side goal, I'm thinking we keep an eye out for lab parts. I mean, obviously, I've always been keeping an eye out for lab parts, but especially now that we've got a pretty significant amount of it built, just getting the base lab ancient nanite infuser, whatever the main machine is called. With the buildings we've got, that's essentially a superpower for whoever we want to use it. Which is Bucko Drink. Even though the people have spoken and Bucko Drink has his unlimited ammo mortar back, which is <laughs> arguably a massive superpower already. But do you want to see Bucko Drink fire unlimited mortar shells from a pretty sizable radius, or do you want to see him fire it from literally the other side of the map? Okay, here's a better question. What happens if we get Bucko the power that gives him 100% accuracy? Well, I guess we win. <laughs> I guess we just win at that point. Well, wait a second. Hex went on a one-person raid to grab that steel yesterday, right? Oh, hang on. We need high-explosive shells again, don't we? Does that count as an exploit that we oh, we upgraded it while we had the, the whole reloading thing going on? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the sound of Bucko firing off 10 shells a second. Oh, before I get too distracted with more grandiose projects, let's get the ritual room completed. Uh, what did you? Where did you get that? Who is that? Oh, it's Monkey Chef! She might be his chief mutineer, but let her rest, for God's sake, Haynes. Definitely going right in the war casket. Are those breaching axes? You're not allowed to use breaching axes. Okay, okay, this is already going to be spicy. We're kicking things off strong today. Get over here, Bucko. There's been a change of plan. Oh, who could have guessed that wooden walls made for a poor defense? <laughs> they are already in. Where's Bucko? Can we hit them yet? Oh, he's almost there. Lol, we could probably take out quite a few if he gets a little bit sooner, a little bit sooner. Oh, he's already firing. No, not there, you fool. Go there, go there, go there, go there, go there. This is good. Oh, so close. Come on, come on, bucko. Everyone else is going to go up there. Uh, Let's move. Let's move them down a little bit more. If we come to like here. Oh, I don't want to bunch everybody up too much, but I think this works about fine. Let's just hope they get, don't get downed while they're in the water, though. Otherwise, they'll drown horribly. My god, there's a lot of people. Okay, yeah, keep aiming there. Keep aiming there. Honestly, that, that's, that'll probably work fine. Ah, watch the transport pods, for Christ's sake. Where's the hex? Really could do with a war casket right now. Wow, that's a lot of people. Let's start backing off. And they've all got melee, too, so this is gonna be a... <laughs> this is gonna be a complete mess. Simon, don't move forward! Oh, these fools. Oh, this is gonna be friendly. Fire central. You moron. Actually, that might be fine. Okay, it's, it, that was a good shot. I'm all right with that. Am I starting to regret wooden walls? You bet. Actually, that wave wasn't too bad. What? Uh, Simon? Why does that look like a... Why does that look like a gorse rifle shot? Ah, poor sweet Simon. I'm not that concerned because, of course, Simon will just resurrect in a few days. It's not... Of all the people to die, that was... That was, that was the, the most optimal one, you know? Bucko! Wow, this is generous. Uh, delay the next wave for three days. That gives Simon time to come back. Then let's build up the walls again. I would prefer the research boost, but I guess we'll take this one. That should also give us time to get out there and do a little raiding, too. Oh, War Casket Broadsword Hex. I got the perfect thing for you, my friend. I think at some stage, and by some stage, I mean in about three minutes when we've got the specialized War Caskets. I think I'm going to have to pull Hex out of the current War Casket and put her in a better one. A, a, a new one. I don't know if that's even possible. I don't know if you can do that. Oh, there's a survivor. 
Uh, ironically called Crit. Hey, Hex, if you run down here fast, you might be able to patch them up. Uh, you can't do doctoring. You're in a war casket. Understandable. <laughs> what do you mean fine motor control isn't your speciality? I think they might be dead. Well, I tried. Never mind. Ah, Haynes, I see you've already got naked. That's going to make things a little bit easier. Let's get strapping you in a war casket, my friend. Oh, and on the plus side, this is basically a full set of decent quality marine gear too that we're getting out of this. It would almost be silly not to weld you into a horrible steel machine. Okay, let's see our options then. We've got regular war casket, marine war casket, recon war casket, cataphract war casket, aerial, which I assume will have some sort of jump pack built in. I don't know if there is uh, any sort of indicator for abilities. Can't see any. We have a barrage war casket. I know that one has some sort of special fire mode in it too. It might say on here. Either way, I'm sure we can figure out what that. I'm sure we can infer what it means from the name alone. That one is fireproof. That one is shock war casket. Okay, superior protection with a higher weight. 165% sharp armor. Good lord. Then we have Sentinel Guardian Tyrants. Oh, that sounds fun. What does a tyrant one do, I wonder? An anti-mechanical cluster war casket designed by Interstellar Industries Complex of Nara. Blah, 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 blah. Based on weapon carrier platform. It's got eight grenades. Okay, fair enough. That seems pretty good. What does a guardian one do out of interest? Just massive. Just absolutely gigantic. 165% armor. I I'm just going to take whatever's got the highest armor value. That sounds like a laugh. So the Cataphract War Casket has 165. I think the Barrage has 200%. Yeah, I, I mean, I've got to go for it, right? Then for Pauldrons. Marine War Casket shoulders. I'm going to pick whatever looks the coolest. As you probably should when you design a War Casket. It'd be weird not to. Those look quite fun, don't they? Oh, that must be the grenade launcher. Right, okay, so you could probably apply that to, say, a jump pack and be able to jump around firing off firing off barrages in a bit more of a mobile way. Okay, I mean, obviously, I'm probably going to go for those. Guardian shoulders are quite fun. What the hell is even that? Okay, uh, look, I've got to go barrage. It just sounds the most fun. Then we have cataphract, aerial. Oh, you can become an eagle. I like it. Hazard is quite cool. Shock looks very enclave. I like that one. Sentinel, guardian. Guardian's quite fun as well. What's the defense on that? 160%. Tyrant, 120%. We can, can we get higher than 160? Show me 200. That'll do. <laughs> 11 components, 360 steel, 75 plastic, steel, and 50 uranium. That's a reasonable price to give someone just an insane amount of armor. Sure, they're not going to be able to work anymore. I mean, what is he good at? Cooking? We've already got a really, really good cook. Other than that, he's just got awful. Rise from your grave. Uh, hold on. Rise from your great. Thank you. Right. Wow. Hey, look at that, huh? Grenade barrage. Siege mode on. Drill yourself into the ground in order to gain more stability and turn yourself into a stationary artillery unit, increasing the attack range and reload efficiency drastically. Well, that sounds pretty fantastic. I mean, in awe at the size of that lad. Oh my god, he's even larger than the hex. <laughs> I suppose we've got to give you a, a half decent weapon now, but I'm not actually sure we've. Not actually sure we've got any there, fella. Oh, what is this one? War Casket Grenade Launcher. That'll do it. He seems like the most appropriate guy to give that one to. Well, they finally added overkill to Rim all day. Haynes and the Hex are mainly going to be used for pirate raiding. Because, of course, they can't do anything other than haul right now. Let's put it to the test. Let's, let's get them out there right away and see what they can do. We've got to be careful we don't caravan anywhere. Because they literally can't move. Is the ship going to be able to sail with them on there? They, I, they seem like they'd be quite heavy. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. Oh, and right on cue, Bucko, drink. War casket weaponry. But upscaled up weapons designed to be mounted on war caskets. The slug rifle sounds pretty good. Oh, the minigun sounds pretty good too. Yeah, you know, I'll take the lot. Just here at a very basic, casual ancient complex, just to see what we've got going on. Kind of hoping we can get more Imperials now so we can build <laughs> remote power rangers. Hello, we're here to talk to you about our Lord and Savior Bucko Drink. This is quite quiet. You go ahead and crack that one open. I don't want to use Haynes too much in a building when he's only got a grenade launcher. Oh. Okay, let's walk away from that one. No. Hex. Hex, I said let's walk away from that one. Not walk away and blast. I suppose I didn't clarify that bit. Oh, Lord. Are they even hostile? We're just shooting them for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Why not? So brave. So incredibly brave. <laughs> Nothing says field test like blowing up a moth with a grenade launcher. That's fantastic. 
Let's crack that one open. You got good fire resist, I assume, in that thing, right? Uh, 108%. Not massive, but pretty decent. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Even more okay. Thank you. I am looking for any sort of hints to where we can get to the ancient vaults. That'd be quite nice. Sir? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, God. Okay, that one's a bit more dangerous. Uh, Hex? Hex, please leave the room. These ones are actually hostile. I guess they heard what we did to their friends. <laughs> Ooh. Legendary Altex Vest. We don't have a psychic character. That's a shame. Psychic Bucko drink. Psychic superpowered pirate captain samurai bucko drink. How many more titles could we give him at this point? Can't pick up Luciferium too heavy. <laughs> ah, what about you? Can't pick it up too heavy. All right, well, we've learned a valuable lesson about sending these guys off on uh, on little excursions to gather treasure. Well, slight problem when they, um... Oh! What happened to your camaraderie, Haynes? Slight problem when our raiders can't actually carry home anything they... They loot. They're attacking the ship. I wondered where they were running off to. Oh! Um, I got some bad news. They might be stuck here for good. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'll never forgive these butterflies. This is war. They've declared war on Bucko Drink. Smashed our pirate ship. That was 3,000 steel, you big bitches. Well, um, I can't get them home. Like, they, they can't caravan. They're too heavy. <laughs> what a bizarre problem to have. I can't get my giant mad Power Rangers home because butterflies destroyed my flying pirate ship. <sighs> Man, even if I throw the second weapon on the floor, they, they, they actually can't caravan out. How does this game make any damn sense? Have you got anything else in your inventory? Oh, the water? Is, is that too much? This is the barrage shoulders. I, I guess the, the point is they can't travel too far with them. That's my head cannon. Even if it makes no damn sense. I guess we've got to send the super pod, right? <laughs> ah, how does this work then? Uh, can I not just launch it? Load group of one, except can't send an empty transport pod. Okay, we'll just send um send it full of chem fuel. Then they can they can't refuel. They're incapable of refueling. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. So we've got to send someone. We'll send Kroom. Send Kroom with some chem fuel. They get there. Refuel the transport pod. Send one of the Power Rangers back. Send the pod back. Refuel it. Send another Power Ranger. Send it back. Refuel it. Then send Kroom back. Fucking butterflies. Don't worry, Power Rangers. Help is on the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, I see why they call it the super pod. How long till the next raid? 4.4 days. Really glad I delayed the next wave. We might be able to get these two home before then. Okay, they're too heavy to fit on the super pod. All right, Kroom, thank you. You can go now. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to let the Hex walk back. The Hex can actually get home. Have to leave a sword behind, unfortunately. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's fine. Turns out if I send three people, we can carry Haynes home. <laughs> God, this game. 2.1 days. Will they actually make it before this next raid comes in? They will. Okay, this is good. This is fine. I mean, it's not good. We lost the Buccaneer. Bucko drinks first ever pirate ship. And the whole squad is home right in time for wave 61. What is wave 61, you ask? I have no idea. Reinforcements. Enemies receive reinforcements from the same faction worth 50% of the initial wave size after 20% of the initial wave is defeated. Great. Okay. Uh, they all have snipers. That's fun. I'm curious what our chance... Oh my god, 25% chance of legendary now. Eventually, will we get to the point where every raid is just 100% legendary rewards? I mean, that could be something like wave 100. You'd have to be pretty good at Rimwell, <laughs> just like me, to get up to that point. Or alternatively, give a character a unreloadable, constantly firing, very overpowered handheld mortar. That might work as well. But I don't know. Okay, here they are. The cannibals themselves. Oh, this seems very basic. We've all got shields. Hang on. Um. <laughs> ah, I, I don't mean to break this to you, but you've all got shields and snipers, or at least the majority of them. That's not right. What the hell's going on down here? We've got a shark fighting a Komodo dragon. Oh, my flag! You son of a bitch. Notice that they didn't shoot the flag, though, did they? I think they may have screwed themselves here. All right, Bucko. 
All right, Bucko, do what you do best, Mr. Bucko Drink. That's a great start. Maybe we don't want to knock their shields out. I mean, they've still got a shield belt equipped. That's not quite how it works. Here are the reinforcements, I'm assuming. Okay, they're coming in drop pods. Come on, snipers and shields again. Okay, now that looks a little harder. They haven't all got snipers either. They're just reinforcements from the faction without the modifier. That's interesting. Really, we should probably get Bucko killing the other ones, given that I don't think these ones would be much of a threat. Well, they're kind of heading over. It'll take a little while. What is that? Are they going to siege me? They drop survival meals. Fuck your lunch. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> I feel like I might be misunderstanding how the mortar works. Because, look, he can fire way outside of his range. Maybe that's the side effect of it being a legendary mortar? Weird. Meanwhile, here come the rest of the squad. Yeah, they're actually not using their sniper rifles, are they? <laughs> what a terrible raid. What? Oh. Hello. Arco prosthetics drop. You don't say, oh man, the healer max elements would also be good. How can I turn that down though? 10 random Arco tech body parts. We've got survival means. Oh, that's five healer mechanite serums anyway. I have to say this. I have to say this. Bucko drink gets upgraded to Arco Bucko. What a name. Go on then. Show me what you've got. Somebody said that they were getting multiple different items, whereas I'm just getting stacks. Awful Arco tech stomachs. Okay. And awful Arco tech ears. Fantastic. They've got to be better than regular. Hunger rate times 0.1%. Um. No? 75% body part efficiency, but it doesn't matter because the hunger rate is, is infinitesimal by comparison to a regular stomach. Or at least I'd assume so. Uh, Arco tech ears are genuinely just terrible. Well, they are, they are worse than a regular ear. Am I misreading that? Maybe I'm just losing my mind, because that seems like that could be really, really powerful. Bucko, you volunteered. No, I'm not going to put Bucko in the firing line. Who don't I like out of all of these people? Pandemic's been a bit of an ass recently. Constantly breaking down whenever there's a raid. You, my friend, are getting potentially the world's best stomach, or it might be terrible. I thought that if my very expensive spaceships were going to be, sorry, pirate ships, were going to be ravaged by butterflies left, right, and center, we're probably going to need to supplement the resources a little bit. Winston Waves has been very generous, don't get me wrong, but he's not going to give us 3,200 steel to replace the butterfly war. What is this? Ah, the start of Bucko Drink's actual ship. Ooh, or a fancy bed. Or liquor. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of hoping those stomachs are terrible right now because High Tech Redneck has already failed one surgery and wasted one of them. Are they as good as I thought they would be? Um, hunger rate times 0.1%. Hunger rate times 0.1%. Surely that means you're never going to get hungry. Am I, am I misreading that? Hunger rate multiplier 100%. Or is that 0.1% minus... 100%. I have no idea. Welcome to the channel where common sense replaces generally what it's actually telling us. It makes no sense that you would have a stomach that reduces hunger rate to 0.1%. But that is also what it says. But he did also wake up and immediately eat something. Ah. Uh, food 84%. You know, I actually think it might work like that. That is unbelievable. 84%. It's still 84%. It makes... So little sense that I'm trying to justify it, but it, that's how it works. That's how it works. All right, bucko. Here you go. One awful stomach that <laughs> makes you never have to eat, or at least not eat for a very long time. My life is a constant train of absurdity on the path to derailment. What has derailed me this time, you're wondering? It is a raging alcoholic hologram. <laughs> we do have a slight problem in that the hologram is a pirate, and it demands alcohol. The big problem with that is that it's a hologram. They generally don't eat, and they especially don't drink beer. So I hate to say it, but I think Estrada is going to be sent off to the outpost. It's either that, or we have a robot that is a permanent minus 48, i.e. a little bit of a liability. I'm sorry, hologram, but I, I just can't keep you. Not at that cost. It's just too much. I have no mouth, and I must drink. What a sad story. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to the alcoholic hologram, everybody. Alcoholic, alcoholic, alcoholic gram. There you go. Perfect. What, what am I doing with my life? 
<laughs> what am I what am I doing here? How do I explain this job to anybody? Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I had to I had to wake up this morning and justify to tens of thousands of people why an alcoholic robot wasn't productive. Like what? <laughs> ah, if it is my friends, the wet bandits, all 46 of them. What is that power? Double speed. The joke is on you, of course, wet bandits, because I have something that you will never expect. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. No, it is not Haynes or Hex. Well, it kind of is. It is not built. <laughs> ah, how long does it freaking take? 240 plus steel tank opponents. Do we not have the... Yeah, we've definitely got the ingredients for it. Well, never mind. Like I was saying, it's Haynes. It was Haynes all along. Bucko? Please watch the walls. I, I give you permission to go bot wild in this situation. Because my god, there's a lot of them. Good lord. We're just going to fire at the ground. Hopefully that's out of his minimum miss range. As in, if he misses, hopefully it still won't hit the fence either way. Nice. They go, hey! Moran? More like moron. Get out of here. Why did he randomly start burning down the wall? Why are they not burning down any other walls? 46 of them. Wow, this is like going to take a while, huh? The gravity of the situation just hit me. Just as the gravity of this shell isn't going to hit anybody because they're dangerous and close to the wall. Bucko, run. Bucko, run. Even though they've got double the speed, Bucko can run faster. He used to be an Olympic sprinter. Definitely not Olympic shooter. Okay, let's be careful on that. Let's just, oh, let's just cut our losses. Oh, we could probably, probably thread a shot up there, right? That seems safe. Ah! Uh, oh, what's going on up here? A party. A party, and they didn't invite Bucko? Hey, that was great. Oh, they're getting fairly close. Is everybody ready? Everybody's here. Except the, except the hologram. I miss you already, hologram. Your lovable rogue nature. I think we sit there, and we just keep Bucko firing. What the... Sage Deirdre, what the hell was that shot? Did you see the size of it? Legendary gear. How how can I not? How can I not take that one? Okay, yeah, three random laser weapons though. No, okay, let's take the take the gear. Show me legendary cataphract armor. Oh lord, that's more than five. Whoa, that was way more than five. Whoa, hello. Legendary marine armor, prestige, siege breaker. Uranium guardian armor. Did I misread that? I thought it was only supposed to be five. We'll casket, minigun, and heavy flamer. Haynes, we're back on. I bet this carbine's probably pretty good, right? Uh, let's sort by... Let's just sort by ground, actually. Sure, DPS over accuracy. Actually, let's see what they've got equipped to. The automatic pistol and the carbine are immediately the best weapons we've got in the colony. That's hilarious. I'll definitely swap out the carbine. Not sure about the pistol. What about the armor? How good is that? Uh, let's sort by sharp. Siege breaker armor, marine armor, and the guardian armor are in our top. Five. Should we send in another wave? Because that they didn't even touch us. Should we, should we just send another? Just go for the legendary rewards. Scoop them up. Send them in. Send them in. Bucko's ready. Bring on the gauntlet. I should have really let Haynes equip that, that minigun. Haynes, go for it. If you survive today, you get a name, my friend. I know I'm going to do this, and then one raid is either going to come down in drop pods or go right through the wall, and then we're just going to get wiped out. <laughs> when has Hubris ever thought about anything bad to this channel? Are they fighting one another? We don't even have to try. Look at this. Come on. Oh, these shots, bucko. These shots are incredible. I'm hoping we can get some sort of massive resource drop and upgrade his gun a little bit more. Man, I missed this. What was I thinking? Adding ammo to this. Good lord. That's ridiculous. Okay, it's half dead already. This is going to be over fast, I think. Look at them go. <laughs> Look at them go. The man cannot be stopped. There you go. How are we looking over here? Bolt action rifle at range. A knife at range. Pawns join, prosthetics drop, arrow fleets. Oh, Lord. Um, oh, five more people. The only problem is housing. Housing and also making the game run like shit, but mainly housing. Oh, prosthetic. I know people will, will never forgive me if I don't take the mercenaries. But it's a lot of people to juggle, isn't it? And it's not as if we're struggling with the current group. And if we are struggling, I'm sure there will always be another option to take more people. I think I'm more interested in the prosthetics. That's one thing that we, well, that we can't craft right now, right? Okay, here we are. Hygiene enhancer. Very nice. And awful livers. <laughs> ah, it's definitely worth it. I don't care what anybody says. You know what else would be worth it? Send them in. Send them in. Discordia, where are you? Okay, okay, bucko, bucko, deal with those guys. Where are the reinforcements? Coming down there. Okay, fine. Let me go for my walls. 
We go for level. Oh, they're the melee. The melee. This is gonna be another really easy one. Bucko, did you just annihilate that? <laughs> just on the way past, he thought, yeah, why not? What was another shot? Ah, <sighs> balance has been restored. What are you doing? Is that a breach axe? That's a sledgehammer. I mean, you could probably use it to get through the walls. It'd be kind of silly not to use it to go through the walls, huh? Besides, you don't need bridge axes to get through the walls when you've got Bucko helping you out. Ah. Hey! Don't do that. Stop that right now. Oh! Annihilated. What's the first part of the raid dealt with? Okay, run, Bucko. Run, 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 run. I should have just played this entire thing with Bucko. <laughs> captain that needs no crew. I guess if he doesn't have a crew, he's not really a captain. He's just a madman with a mortar. There you go. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Improve every skill of every pawn under your control by five. Play tall. Look, look at this screen. Look at this screen. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Okay, let's not push our luck too much. Don't push your luck too much, even though this mech wave that's coming up next, honestly, is, is staggeringly easy. 25% chance of a legendary reward. I mean, if you've got if you've got three rewards and we always summon early, that means we're always getting a legendary reward. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean that, of course. It just means on average we'll get that, which isn't entirely the same thing. Also, is there a chance of getting two legendary rewards in the same... Oh, this is, this is great. I don't want to get too carried away, though. I, I especially don't want to try and build the spaceship to get Bucko and the crew into space, only to be interrupted by very, very, very difficult raids. Sometimes in life, we find ourselves stuck with the hardest questions. Like, for example, Crew and Bilberry, <laughs> will you marry me? That's nice. That's nice. Don't face each other or anything. Just kidding me, Crew. You don't actually need that wheelchair, do you? I might restrict that from... <laughs> from loadouts from now on. Wrongly assumed first time it was just from when we dressed a patient and it was forced to peril or something like that. No, they are just getting in wheelchairs. Just for the fun of it, really. So Bucko has the Mecha School, the Arco Lung, the Arco Stomach, the Love Enhancer, the Aesthetic Shaper, and the Crypto Blade Armor. Then Sage Deirdre has <laughs> Mr. Crab's Legs and the Arco Tech Stomach. Pandemic has... Oh, level 3 Silent, shit. We could have kept that LTX helmet for you, I suppose. Someone brought this up in the comments yesterday, that Rumor characters can just huff down a mech serum and have their lung pop back and, and walk it off as if nothing's happened. They really are built different, aren't they? <laughs> That's kind of horrible. Uh, I might be going insane, but I could have sworn I saw a... <gasps> I did! We've intercepted messages about an abandoned vault not far, not far from Bucko's crew. It's all the way over on the other side of Lake Iguana. <laughs> Nobody ever journeys out past Lake Iguana and makes it back. Uh, we are going to have to walk. Oh, wait, but shit, how are we going to bring anything back? I suppose this is only the... Uh, this is only the looted vault, right? To uh, the, use this to find the actual full vault with all of the cool stuff in it. So I guess we'll... I guess we'll just walk over. We could really do with some pack animals, couldn't we? I'm going to send these four because that gives us a little bit of, of extra mass to carry something back with if we find something we want. I'll be the first to admit this is a bit of a gamble. It's going to take them another 0.9 days just to get there. Then we have to get into the vault, whether that's connecting the power back up, take what we want, get back to the base. The next wave is in 1.8 days. I'm sure we'll be fine with Bucko. Wow, look at the look we've got going on now, huh? Holy crap, Captain Bucko. Reject Samurai, return to Viking. I mean, Viking is definitely pirate adjacent. What a ridiculous thing to say. I'm also convinced at this point, Panamic just doesn't want to wear a shirt. Exoskeleton smoke pot belt. You know what? You live your best life. You do you. Oh, I hate to say it. We might have gotten unlucky here. I can't see the... What is it? Some sort of like giant transmitter that you used to get to the other vault. Ooh, what is that? And just a supply crate. Self-destructs in one day. Oh, no pressure then. That's a really cool vault, but I don't think it's got what we need. Oh, super nano containment. We've already got one of those at this point. Damn. Okay. There is another door. It's got 10,000 hit points. Or we have to connect it up to something. Ooh. Arco tech arm. Sold. That's like, a, that's like an easy sale. Take all these <laughs> elephant tusks. We haven't killed any elephants. We've got about 16 hours now before the mechanoids turn up, so I think it's fairly safe to say we're going to be fighting them without these four. Maybe this has got some machinery in it. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it'll have Luciferium. That's no use. Maybe it won't take the hex that long to punch through the vault door. 
Uh, it's going down pretty fast. This isn't how you're supposed to do things, but <laughs> it's the only way we can do things right now. And Starflight basics are complete. There we go. The first step to the real Buccaneer. I love the fact that we can research railgun turrets and we haven't even got complex electronics yet. Marine armor does lead to EVA gear, which we'll need if we plan on going to space. All right, that seems like a sensible choice. Kroon, what the hell are you doing? Please get out of the way. And we are through. Nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Bucko. No superpowers today then by the looks of it. Whoa, I, I've never seen this version of the vault before. I guess we just got, I guess we just got unlucky. Never mind. Okay, Bucko, now let's see if you really do make all the difference single-handedly. There's only 11 of them. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, I think. Oh, wow, look at you. What a horrible creature. Oh, it's the Kraken, Bucko. Arr, it be the Kraken. Bring him down. Or don't, or miss entirely. That's also fine. Not very really pirate, though, is it? Oh! Bad dog. Oh, my walls. Oh, they actually stood up to it. Oh, what a hit. Shit. <laughs> One second, a little bit too light there, Bucko. Kill that Kraken. Kill that Kraken. Oh. Oh, that's also got grenades. Hey, I don't remember this happening in Moby Dick. With my last breath, I spit giant mechanical grenades. You doesn't make any fucking sense. You goddamn mechanoids. <laughs> you goddamn mechanoids. Moby Dick, more like Moby D's nuts. Get him. Oh! Are you. I, I, give me that gorse lance. You can't be trusted with it. Oh shit. Oh shit, Haynes, we can finally see this thing in action. Get him. Kill. No, 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 no. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Oh! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Theo, that was 90% your fault. In fact, it basically was Theo's fault. Give me that gorse rifle. Put that down. Idiot. You absolute fool. Oh, the monkeys. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, start running. Start running, start running. We're gonna have to have a real pirate funeral. Yeah, burn Theo. I feel like someone wearing a rum suit on fire probably isn't... Isn't an ideal situation. Good shot from Bucko. Haynes, get out of there. You know what, Haynes? Actually, rescue Remy Remy. What the hell are you doing? You can tank these hits. Is it over? Oh my god, it's over. Well, that was a complete mess. Just an absolute mess. Hang on, what happened to Simon? He didn't ever resurrect, did he? <laughs> but he just noticed. Uh, give me the... Give me the... Give me the weapons. Give me the weapons. Give me the weapons drop. Oh, man, this is a complete state. Okay. Well, first things first. We can start planning a funeral. Oh, this fire. Holy shit, this fire. Um. Wow. Are we going to be able to deal with this? Okay, well, that's that solved. It's just the ritual room now. Everybody's got the friggin' plague. Buck Owen, Theo the rum slave. Classic. Oh, that sucks. Pandemic would have been absolutely fine. Oh, God. Oh! Look at those stats. Ah. Theo, I will never forgive you for this. I'll absolutely never forgive you for this. It, 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 is it because we buried Simon? I thought he'd be safe in there, but we buried him. We've, uh... Contains Monkey Chef. Contains Angry Welder. Contains Lethe. Boos. Fornicorn. Roan. Well, Simon just didn't resurrect then. He quite clearly isn't buried, unless I... Completely just misread that. Simon, Simon, Simon. He just, he just straight up did not resurrect. That was your one superpower, Simon. Maybe you lied. Maybe you lied about it. Well, what a lackluster ending to an otherwise fantastic pirate adventure, except for the part where butterflies destroyed our ship and the vault had nothing in it. And Pandemic was impaled by a gorse rifle. Other than that, everything went fine, I think. <laughs> and in conclusion, I hate this planet and everybody on it. And no, I'm not talking about RimWorld. Thank you to those who I don't hate the most of all. The patrons. Including Time Waster, I Am Sagatair, Neo Zela, The Legend Boss, Slickback, Laura S, Phoenix Odinson, Mercury, Essidus, Palatina, Galupo, Fruit Hag, Secret, Hoaxor, Turtle Boy Ryan, Master of Gaming 22, Zilzion, Valkyrie, and finally, Aromatic Fool. And 
everybody else that you can see on your screen right now who are at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you, executive producers. Don't you feel proud of yourselves? You shouldn't. You've done a terrible thing here. Thank you for making the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth channel possible in the first place. Thank you to Duke, Mighty Vic, Pumbly, Atreus Sen, Bare Minimum, Johnny Richards, Yolo Ninja, Yellow Engram, Foxy Cogs, Sam, The Sensual Sapphist, Plazion, Bug551, Mellow, Stretcher, My Sweaty Rim Rim, Just Mass, Amanda, Cass, and Red Noah as well. See you all tomorrow for whatever the hell is going on in my life.